All right, YouTube, how you doing? Welcome back to the channel. It is April 3rd. We got ourselves a Sunday. We've got 12 games on the NBA slate today, so we're going to do something different. We're going to post two videos. We're going to do the earlier games. It's going to take us from the Mavs versus Bucks game through the Sixers versus Cavs game in the first video. Then we'll post a second video with the other six games on the slate, hoping that it makes it a little bit more simplistic to watch and easier to consume for you guys. So they'll both be out around the same exact time, but two different videos. That way you guys don't have to sift through all of the games. So uh, we'll test that out today, see if it works. Let me know in the comments if you guys like that or not. But we do have 12 games on the NBA slate today, six that we are going to look at in this video. And as you guys know, we go through each and every game in this video, I give you my lean, I give you what I'm thinking, but at the end of the day, make sure to check that pinned comment. That is where my final plays will be. Yesterday, yesterday we went 0-4, which is our first losing night in quite some time. So, uh, you know, I, I could say that that's the positive, but 0-4 is like, yikes. If we had the soundboard here, you know, obviously we're not in the, uh, the normal setup, but if we had the soundboard here, it'd be a womp womp galore type of show today. But uh, yeah, we went 0-4. Three in our picks, and then the ride of the day coming in from Dennis. He had a lot of picks out there. We rode with the Capella to record a double double. Clint Capella, I think he finished with 12 points or 12 rebounds. He did the hard part 12 rebounds, nine points. Jimmy Butler's under rebound, six and a half. He finished with a seven. So they're right there, two player props that we kind of just, you know, just barely missed out on. But uh, we are looking to bounce back. Tonight, we do have these six games. Again, we're going through six games in this video and then six games in the other video. Splitting it up for you guys. Hopefully, it's easier to consume. But uh, guys, again, make sure to keep an eye on that pinned comment for the final plays. All my pinned comment, the final plays, I'll put the same final plays in each video. So you don't have to go back and forth to see the final plays. This is just more or less uh, the upload process and the consumption of the video. We're splitting it. So uh, everything else, all the information, if you don't have to sift through the video and everything like that, all the final plays will be the same in both this video and then the late game video. But um, let's jump into it, guys. Before we do, I want to let you guys know that we are approaching 9,000 subs, and I can't thank you guys enough. We're red hot in March. April, after an April 2nd where you go 0-4, now we're about even in April, and that ain't great. But we are looking to bounce back tonight, guys. That pinned comment structure is going to have a link to join the channel as a member if you'd like. If you want to join as a baller, it's $2.99 a month. You get a logo just like Dennis has next to your name in the comments, and that changes the longer you are a member. You also get classes, uh, exclusive access to emojis that you can use as members and no one else can use that we've designed. And then, um, you guys, you know, it's a great way to support the channel. $2.99 a month. We have a lot of great plans in the future for the members. But um, it's going to go that link in the pinned comment. Then we have our Discord link, and we are approaching, I think we're on our way to 1,000 people in the Discord, which is awesome. A lot of great minds talking about a lot of great bet, great bet ideas. It's a great place to connect with other people like you guys. So make sure to check out that Discord link. And then below all that, in the pinned comment, will be my final plays. And that's going to be the same for both videos here. And uh, yeah, we might as well jump right into it here, guys. Hit that subscribe button, like the video, use hashtag ride of the day. If you do want to give me a play that you'd like me to jump on board with me, try and get hot again with the ride of the day. We were hot. Dennis had plenty of picks that we could have chosen from. He hit a few of them. We chose one that we just missed right on the hook there. But uh, hashtag ride of the day in the comments, guys, if you do want to to um, have a pick that I can possibly ride with and you guys get a shout out in the next video. But let's jump right into it here. We do have the Mavericks tra traveling to the Bucks here. Bucks five and a half point favorites at home. This Bucks team, I say over and over and over and over again, this is a team to keep an eye on because they just keep resting their players. So that's going to obviously be something that you're going to want to keep an eye on here. But for Dallas, in terms of injuries, Maxi Kleber is questionable. And then no major injury updates to look at there. Giannis, Middleton, and Holiday are all upgraded to probable, as well as Brooke Lopez for Milwaukee. So it looks like they're going to play, but that's that was the case that we had on, what was it, Friday, April 1st. Then the Bucks said, April Fools, none of these guys are playing. So if those guys are a go, I lean Bucks minus five and a half here you know they were playing good basketball they're beating good teams Philly Brooklyn they go and play the Clippers without Giannis without Middleton without their main guys and they catch a bad L without again with it without their main guys so I'm gonna leave Milwaukee here minus five and a half make sure to keep an eye on the pin comment to see if it is a final play 
All right, next up, we have the Celtics, my Boston Celtics. We were at the game on Wednesday this week. We were at the game on Friday. An awesome, awesome week going to those games. If you saw my Twitter, you saw how great the seats were, too. So that was so much fun. Celtics are 13-point favorites against the Wizards today. Now, last time these two teams played, Celtics took it to the Wizards 116-87. to That was just over a month ago, January 23rd there. Kuzma's out. Beal's out for season. For Boston, Jason Tatum's upgrade to probable, and Robert Williams, as we know, is still out. Celtics team's coming off of a win against Indiana. Again, we're at that game. They have won seven out of their last ten. They're playing good basketball. This Washington team, I think they're going to sit Kuzma for the rest of the year, indicating that they might not even be trying anymore. So 13 points. If Jason Tatum's a go, he's upgraded to probable. I'm leaning a heavy favorite there in the Celtics. You guys know I hate double-digit spreads, so I don't know if I'll be laying this much change on this game um, or anything at all, but I am going to lean Celtics there minus 13. All right, next up, we have the Lakers getting three points at home against the Nuggets. Lakers coming off of a loss against New Orleans here. They've lost five straight. Philly, New Orleans, Dallas, Utah, and New Orleans again. New Orleans, they've surprised us this year. They've been hot and cold. When they're healthy, they actually play pretty decent basketball. But the Lakers here, again, playing a decent team in Denver, who I truly believe is still going to continue to try and um, up, up until almost, you know, probably the end of the season here, just based on their seeding. LeBron's questionable. Carmelo is upgraded to problem. And Anthony Davis is questionable. No matter what, even if those guys play, again, I think Denver's going to try. I think Denver's going balls to the wall to finish the year. I'm going to lean Denver here, minus three. Guys, also, I want to say before we get into the rest of the picks in this video, we do have that Discord. We add player props throughout the day, and a lot of research goes into those player props. In the Discord is where I explain all of the player prop rationale and reasoning in a thread for my final pick. So we always, we obviously don't always get to player props in these videos, but we do add player props throughout the day. And if you're looking for, okay, why would I trust that? You didn't even explain it. All the explanation is going to be in the Discord. So I want to shout that out. But uh, let's move on to the Pacers here. Minus two and a half against the Detroit Pistons. Um, four injuries here. Marvin Bagley is downgraded to out. Sadiq Bey is upgraded to probable. Cade Cunningham is questionable. And this one's pretty easy for me. If Cade Cunningham is a go, if um, Sadiq Bey is a go, then I'm leaning Pistons here, getting two and a half points. You guys know I like them as underdogs, hate them as favorites. But the Pistons here, plus two and a half against the Pacers team that, you know, their, their best guys haven't been playing much either. Brogdon's questionable. Um, Daze is questionable as well. Indiana's coming off of, what is this, six straight losses that I have in my notes here. Um, whereas Detroit's coming off of two straight wins. Again, Cade Cunningham, Sadiq Bayer, two names I'm looking at in, on this injury report for sure. But we're going to be leaning um, Pistons plus two and a half there. And if those guys are a go, I'm going to probably put that in as a final play. All right, next up, we have the Magic taking on the New York Knicks. Knicks coming off of a loss yesterday against Cleveland. They got beat by 18. There was no Randall yesterday. So uh, obviously keep that in mind. He's still out again today. Um... And for Orlando, they do have a couple injuries here. Uh, Franz Wagner is questionable. And um, Wendell Carter Jr. has been downgraded to out. So that makes this game, ladies and gentlemen, the uh, psycho game alert. I'm probably just going to lean the magic because these are two scrubby-ish teams playing each other when they have you know some of their better and players that have been playing well out. So I'm leaning magic here, plus five. It seems crazy that at the beginning of the year, if you were to be like, Evan... At some point late in the year, you'd be like, Magic could win this game outright against the Knicks. I'd be like, no, you're crazy. The Knicks were a playoff uh, finals contender last year, everything like that. And all of a sudden, the Magic, you know, they're not playing well this year, but they're playing better than, than you'd, you'd think that they would, especially against the spread, 35 and 43. They're literally the same against the spread with the Knicks, um, so 36 and 42. So it's crazy to me how the NBA season can just, like, flip on its head. But uh, I'm leaning Magic. They're a nice underdog pick, plus Five. Next up, we have the Cavs hosting the Sixers here. Cavs getting four and a half points. Sixers coming off of that win yesterday against Charlotte. We were on the wrong side of that one. Um, absolutely molly whopped them late in the game there. 144 to 114. Cleveland also on a back-to-back -back coming off of that win against the Knicks, a team we just talked about. I'm leaning Philly here. Both these teams are on a back-to-back, -back, so I don't really care that either team is on a back-to-back. -back. This Cleveland team, obviously they've been playing decent basketball, but I truly believe they won last game because Julius Randle was out. Yes, they have a lot of guys out too. I'll give you that. But this Philly team, I'm going to uh, I'm gonna lean Philly. Obviously, now this is another game to keep an eye on the injury report. Joel Embiid, James Harden, they haven't played every single back-to-back -back since being together and everything like that. So keep an eye on that. Injury dependent on this lean towards Philly. But uh, guys, that is going to wrap it up for part one of today's picks. Again, keep an eye on the pinned comment. I don't know if we'll always do this, so feel free to let me know in the comments. I'm sure it, it'll it impact views, so I don't know if it benefits me to do two separate videos like this, but I feel like it just seems a little bit more consumable to you guys watching. But if you guys are fine with me going through 12 games in one video, 
please let me know in the comments about the format and everything like that. We will catch you guys in the next video. Keep an eye on the pin comment for my final plays. Make sure you use hashtag right of the day in the comments. And also go check out right when you're watching this. The other one's probably shortly afterwards uh, uploading. So make sure to go check out part two where we get into the next six games of April 3rd slate here on a Sunday. But we'll catch you guys in that video. Peace out.